Welcome to a day two, uh, it's actually day three right now, but a post day two update about Zombie Defense League in Plattsburgh. I'll make this really short. Uh, so, uh, day was going on, uh, news came out, Josh the Scourge would not be uh, joining us on this night because he had stuff to do. So this was all without Josh, okay? Just, uh, went a little rough. Um, so my end of the story is I went to Hudson a bit early. I had to rush out of a really important thing, which I was really sad to miss the end of, but I wanted to join the mission. So I found everyone on the other side of the building, um, saw people running around giant mobs and stuff. Zombies were much more organized this week, uh, or today. Um, and I hear the moderators give lip to a bunch of people like, hey, don't do this thing that happened. Turns out people are running into the middle of the street during traffic. Don't, don't do that. Okay, don't don't run into traffic vehicular manslaughter don't don't do it i was like okay and then uh there was a whole bunch of people there people were like i got a i got a folder i got a folder i got a folder we had to, had to find 10 manila envelopes uh and turn them into the scientist so i meet up with a group who has not gotten one yet and i'm like all right you're all with me all right we're going and i made team l0 team lazarus zero because in the chat, other people were starting to call themselves Lazarus and make their own teams and wear the things on their shoulders. So I'm like, well, I guess Team La Lazarus Team 1 and 2 probably already exist, ripping me off. Like, I, I keep in mind, I, I don't care. Like, I don't actually think I'm a legend or anything, but some people took it a bit too far in the chat, so I didn't run into them. Um, so we sit out, we go on the other side of Hudson, we start moving out, and we're in teams and stuff. And we're like, all right, all right. These people in the front, these people in the middle, these people in the back. Everyone gray, have two in your hands. All right, let's go. Slowly out the door. We get encircled by zombies. My friend Vienna is a zombie. Oh, my God. She just turned into a zombie. She's stalking the crap out of us. Um, we're like, don't let them get close. Don't let them get close. Navigating down like an 80-foot sidewalk to a, to a crosswalk. Um, we hit a few of them, fend them off, get them stunned, collect our socks back. And we cross fairly. And then there's, we don't encounter barely, we encounter barely anyone. And we're going all the way across the north side of the campus, or the top side of the campus. And we're crossing past Feinberg. We get into the parking lot. We sneak around on the edge of all the territory we can go through. We get into banks. It's uh, one of the buildings that are connected to other buildings through a, through a basement tunnel. We go in. And we're like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Maybe there's a folder down by the river. All right, it's going to be swarming on Ruger, so let's do this because we're right near the ACC, the big hub. So we're like, all right, we'll take the tunnels, we'll come out in Algonquin. We'll carefully not run across the street, but we'll use the crosswalk, get across the street, and then sprint to the nearest building, then I'll recollect. We do that. It's fine. Safe. We get into Kent, and we go out the back, and, and I make a genius plan. Keep in mind, uh, we are not going to run into pretty much any zombies back here, so all these plans are pretty much for nothing, but they're really cool. But at the time, we were taking them very seriously. We thought we were in grave danger. Um, I, made a, I made a party of me and two other people as a lead team, and then everyone else was behind. I had a team of seven people. It would eventually become eight people in, in L0. So I go to a door with my group, and then we go to another door. And then we signal them to come to the door we were just at. And we snake around like that for like 20 minutes, going from building to building to building. And eventually, we all perch up, and we're like, all right, four of you, uh, three of you, uh, one with me, two, uh, ten feet behind me. We're going to go down, check out the river, check out the, uh, it's m like pitch black. There's just a little bench with a light. And I'm like, I think there might be a folder there. We go all the way there. Then we come back. There are people with flashlights freaking us out. We don't know if they're playing or not. We all run back. All right, all right, everyone calm down. We send a party up to the top of the hill to peek over to see a me plaza, the big hot zone. And we're like, oh, shit, there's so many zombies. Um, so we're sneaking across. We're like, all right, maybe we can run in front of Memorial and go up the ramp. No, too many zombies. We go back behind Memorial. We're getting, we think we're getting chased. We go down behind Memorial. We're like, fuck, 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 fuck. We find a door. It's actually open. We go up. We chill out in Memorial for a little bit. It's a gym building. Then we go out, and we cross the street. We get behind Myers, um, and we start to see a few zombies. We run to Yoakum. We're hanging out in Yoakum. All right. I know where the one might be. There's a, there's a grounds, there's a courtyard out a little behind Yoakum. Same two leading parties. Front two and, and mid two. We're going to go out. Stay a distance from each other. Socks at the ready. We go out. 
we see a zombie, but he's not really caring, so he just walks past like, hi. And we get it. And then we, oh my god, we hear something about zombies. We run, we run, we run, 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 run. And then, oh my god, we get in. We have one. Awesome. Somewhere we pick up an eighth member, a, uh, a guy named Joe, who's like kind of a maverick. He's like, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm Joe. Uh, we invite him in. He's like, all right. We invite him to a back team or mid team. So now we have eight people. And he's like, no, no, you can't go on the floor. You got to go at the bridge. No one's using the bridge. We go up to the top. We use the bridge. We get into Myers. We go to the basement of Myers. And then we are 10 feet from the statues in the ME Plaza. And we have a standoff there. We all go in a circle around the whole building, fending off some zombies and stuff. But it turns out it's not even there. Meet up with my friend Vienna again. She hangs out with us because indoors you can hang out with zombies. Um, and then eventually we, nav- we navigate our way back to Hudson. And the mission gets... And we, we, we make our way back to Hudson. We turn in our envelope. Then we get more lip because four people, four groups of people have sprinted into traffic. And one, pe- one person might have gotten a little hurt. How moronic are these people? There are moderators that are giving false information because they're so confused. Two moderators left early. So two of the folders, we don't even know where they are because those mods left without telling anyone. So the mission now became unwinnable. Also, they wanted to end it early because they didn't want anyone else to get hurt. So our time was getting cut to try to find four more envelopes. And there are people impersonating mods. It's day two. How has everything already gone this much to shit? It's crazy. So we're like, uh, I get, I, I spread, I, you know, I open up my box and I give everyone food and water and everything. Or like, all right, I guess we're over. And then we're like, no, we have until we have until at least 9:45. You guys have at least 30 more minutes to try and get more envelopes. We're like, all right, renewed vigor. Let's go. Let's go. We all go. We encounter some zombies. Have some great standoffs. Then we get all the way back to Yoakum again. I th- I might have messed up my order here a little bit, but um. We hang out with a zombie, uh, and he tells us about crazy stories about people impersonating mods and bad mods and stuff, and, yo, what's up? Hey, just need to check on that. Scene change. All right, so uh, this is actually where we met up with Vienna and Yoakum and everything. Um, I, I don't know how we went there and back. We went, we covered so much distance, and didn't, none of us got tagged. By the end of the night, all eight of us, even someone we left that stayed behind, we were like, oh, no, we lost her. Showed up out of nowhere sprinting. And the zombie person we were talking to, like, kind of pieced off. And then came, next thing we know, we see our eighth member sprinting over. Like, the zombie coming after, and, like, there are dives and socks being thrown. It's crazy. Amazing stuff. And she survives. So we got one, uh, one folder, our group. And we kept every person alive, covering basically the entire circumference of the entire campus twice. We're a good team. But the mission was ended early. And mod report. Ga- All right, game's over for tonight. Everyone, get back to Hudson. I need to tell you something. Um, it's a draw. Uh, everyone wins, everyone loses. Uh, zombies get fed. Because the whole my whole thing tonight was... We're not going to lose more than, like, four people. We don't lose people during the missions. People are too organized. So, like, eight of the zombies are going to starve. It'll be great. It'll really put a damper on us. I, I was saying that Josh actually hurt his team by making too many zombies that couldn't feed enough that they were all going to starve on, like, day two. And they were going to until it became a draw. Because of all the screw-ups, it's un- we kind of get to continue in the story, but we might have lost a few items or whatever. And zombies all get fed. So now zombies aren't going to... Uh, now zombies get another 24 hours or 48 hours to not starve. And I was like, ah, damn it. That was the one thing we were going to have that was to our advantage. So a lot of stuff went to shit, but my team had so much fun. And now, tonight, uh, in, in like 45 minutes, there's an escort mission. Short. 45 mission. Can you get this scientist who has been infected to walk all the way to a secret building. You can only walk. It's an escort mission. She can only walk at a certain speed, and you need to not touch her and get her to safety, like the whole human surrounding her. And I don't know if we have the effort left in us to do it. I'm certainly just getting tired of 
just exerting myself so much. But uh, once I once I put that thing on, I'm, I'll be like, yeah, uh, yeah, let's do it. But like, morale's pretty low because so many people screwed stuff up. I don't know if it's the freshmen or the veterans, but people need to not shove each other downstairs, okay? I know I'm talking to someone. People need to calm down and enjoy the game and play with their friends and not try to break the game or something. Gosh. Um, all right, just have fun out there. Uh, yeah, zombie defense leagues are really cool. And if you don't have one, you should go to Humans vs. Zombies uh, website, which is hvsource.com, and try to make a group at your campus. Just um, have good mods. Do not just hire anyone because they're a mod, okay? Mods are really important in this, okay? See ya.